Um, this is a seven week project with elders. It's called New Horizons for Elders and this project is um, to show Inuit traditional knowledge and about their culture and um, yeah, uh, this is to show and demonstrate to children and youth and young parents who want to be involved in seal skins and learning how to sew, scrape, clean. So this is our project for seven weeks. We have four elders. Um, one is absent. <coughs> uh, we have Jila Saulapik, Egai Tonga, and Lisi Meali, and one is Tauke Kapi. Um, these pictures here shows us um, different types of seals contents. Um, they varied in different regions. We found this picture <coughs> of Asiva, and she's she she was born here, and um, <coughs> she had a tent down by the little hell, hell down there. Um, she would make um, seal skin boots for policemen, missionaries, and whalers that would come around the 1800s. So that was very interesting to see. Um, and she's part of your family. Yeah, okay. she's my great, great, great grandma. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> this one shows all sealskin, but I don't know where they did that, and elders don't know where they did that, because the entrance part has to be uh, all scraped. And this is full skin. And some would use bones to as poles. Um, and we don't know where that was taken from. Here's another picture. Um, this is in Kibalak, um, Baker Lake or Akbet. Um, it's like a teepee, but it's made out of seal skin. This picture was taken here. Um, one of the elders thought it was around the whaling t time. Um, we just showed that. And these three people are from Peli Bay. Um, they did a documentary about a uh, nomadic way of Inuit life. So that's that. And here, this picture was taken from the Amarlik Center. So you can see the bones and what they used in the seal skin tent. Uh, seal skin tents are called <coughs> itak. They call them, we call them itak. Uh, that's all seal skin too, nothing scraped. Uh, this lady is lighting a hullak. That's what they used for heating, um, cooking. They used hullak for everything. Um, we have another picture. So the, the picture down there from here, the streets, like you are going to replicate uh, the project, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We tried inviting children on the local radio to come and join us and take part in this project, but not much people. I think most people are out boarding or it's a busy time of the year, so. And when are you going to... Um, bring the tent outside? Uh, once it's all sewed up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're using about 20 skins and one for sinew. And the entrance part will be, will have no fur, so it's for the lighting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we saw the transparent one? Yeah. Yeah, the transparent, yeah. I think we have to, and they're doing another one. So it took you two weeks to prepare? Yeah, to skin. prepare uh, the skins, we had to. They had to scrape, clean, um, sew. And, and the sewing part, how long does it take? Um, they're not sure because they have, they haven't sewed tents since we got buildings. So, yeah. yeah. So it's not something that they are used to do. Mm -mm, not not anymore. Do. It was all from memory, oh, yeah. nothing written. Okay, so yeah. they got it from their grandmother or? Yeah, their grand, mostly from 
mainly from their mothers. Okay. Yeah, watching their mothers.